Hello, this is your friend, Miss Lorraine. Happy New Year. This is 2024. And we're going to cry out and spare not, and we're going to declare the good works of the Lord. Amen. And I want to read to you today Psalms 91 to kick off the new year. Let's get the word in our hearts. And it begins, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And we know that all Almighty is the Lord, and we are hidden in a secret place. We are dwelling in the secret place with the Lord. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, and in God, my God, in Him will I trust. We know that we can put our trust in Him, no matter what the test or situation that we have gone through or what we're going through. This year, we are going to stand on the Word of God like never, ever before. We know that we are in the end times. Number three says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. We know we have enemies, but God said he will deliver us from the snare of the enemy, of the fowler, and from the noose and pestilence. He shall cover thee. He shall cover us with feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the error that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. Number seven, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come down thee. It shall not come to thee. The enemies will not uh, 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 oh, oh, attack us. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. We will see our wicked uh, people fall. We shall see them fall. The ones that's fighting against us, the Lord shall, we shall see them fall. Number nine, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. See how God is going to protect us? Hallelujah. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. We are covered. He has given angels charge to cover us, to protect us, from the hand of the enemy, and we should rejoice and be happy about that. But they bear these up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion the, and adder, the, long, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet. Hallelujah! Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he has known my name. The Lord knows our name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Praise the Lord. We are to be so encouraged today by the word of God. Letting us know that though the enemy will come to try to devour us. To try to destroy us. He's given his angels charge over us to protect us from the hands of the enemy. Ten thousand shall fall at our side. So we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Nobody wants to, to, to honor, to accept, to respect, to understand what that means. The blood of Jesus has power and it covers us, hallelujah, and protect us from the hands of the, of the, evening, of the enemy. Praise God. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for this brand new year. We ask you to guide our footsteps, Lord. And we ask you to give us a, a special, a, 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 a hallelujah, give us an anointing from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Bind our every enemy that will try to come to destroy us, God. Keep us safe from the hands of the enemy, as you said in your word, that you will protect us from the hand of the enemy. We ask you to order our footsteps, God. We ask you, God, to use us for your glory, God. We ask you to just speak to our hearts and minister to us, God. In the name of Jesus, 
Take us through our tests and our trials in the name of Jesus. We just love you today. God, we thank you for our life, health, and strength. We thank you for the activity of our limbs. We thank you that it's in you that we breathe. It's in you that we move. And it's in you that we have our being. Hallelujah. You are our God. You are our Father. You are our everything. And we just thank and praise you for that. Remember our loved ones, the ones that are sick in the hospital right now. God, I ask you to touch them right now, God, and restore them, God. You're able to heal, save, and deliver, God. You've got all power in your hands. You have power that you have not even released yet, God. Oh, God, bring us closer to you this year, God. Ask you to minister to us every day, God. Keep us from the hands of the enemy, Lord. Give us spiritual discernment. Continue to give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let us see the enemy near and far, God. Oh, God, don't let us be tricked up by the enemy this year. Oh, God, hallelujah, glory be to God. Help us to see the enemy near and far, God. Oh, Father God, we just love you. We just thank you for all the many, many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We just thank you, God. We just can't thank you enough, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Remember our loved ones and remember our neighbors and their children. God, we ask you to protect them, God, from the hands of the enemy, Lord Jesus. Lord, remember our government, God. Lord, we ask you to have your way in the White House, God. Oh, remember those families and people over there in Israel, God, in different countries that was under attack, God. Remember, hallelujah, but hallelujah. Remember the people in Japan, the earthquake, God. All those people that's been destroyed or injured in the earthquakes. But you said in your word, glory to hallelujah, glory to God. In Matthew 24, you said that, hallelujah, in the end times, there was going to be wars and rumors of wars. Nations against nations and kingdom against kingdom. And we know that, to hallelujah, that prophecy in your word is being fulfilled right now before our very eyes. That we are in the last days and help us to turn from our wicked ways, God. In the name of Jesus, turn to you, God. Hallelujah. For you are our redeemer, God. Lord, we ask you to search our hearts and search our minds, God. If you find anything that's not like you, God, we ask you to remove it right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we need a fresh anointing, God. Oh, God, guide our pathway, God. Oh, God, let us see, hallelujah, Jesus. See our way through, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, search us, God, search us, God. We want to be more and more like you, God. Help us to walk in our purpose, God. Oh, God, you give us a boldness that stand up in us, God, like never before, God. Give us a boldness that we never had before, God. In the name of Jesus, make our enemies our footstool, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, let your word saturate in our hearts. Anoint us with your oil, God. Oh, let our cup overflow, God, with your anointing, God. We need your strength and we need your power to overcome in these evil times, God. Oh, God, we just thank you right now, God. We know you're going to do what needs to be done, God, and, and we ask you to use us to get it done, God. If we only reach one soul, one soul, uh, we, hallelujah, that we can pull out of the pit of hell, God, that you are real, how you're not an imaginary uh, fairy tale person. You are a real God, hallelujah, and heaven is real. Hell is real, too, and hell has enlarged itself. But people that children of uh, disobedient, that want to go in their own way and do their own thing, glory be to God. But, Lord, you are merciful and you are patient with us, and we just thank you for, for just opening up opportunities for us every day. Thank you for the blessings that you bestowed us. God, you are everything that we need. Glory be to God. Equip us, equip us with your word, God, because your word has power. Hallelujah, your word has power, God. And we actually just unite a fire in us. Unite a fire in us, glory be to God. Set us on fire for you, God. Oh, God, direct our footsteps where you will have us to go, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to be led by you, God. We, we want to walk in the truth and in authority and found in Jesus Christ. Ask you to give us what we need. Open the doors that need to be opened in our lives and close the doors that need to be closed in our lives. And people that come in our lives that don't mean us any good, God, we ask you to remove them out of our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. said we were the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. Glory be to God. You said that we are a royal priesthood. Let us not forget who we are, who we are called to be in this last and evil days, God. Oh, how we are your sons and your daughters. Now is the time to realize, Lord. Now is the time to repent of your sins and become godly sorry of your sins and repent and turn from your wicked ways and turn to the Lord and ask for forgiveness and ask God to wash you with hyssop. 
and wash you with his blood and wash your sins away. Oh, no, hallelujah. What can wash all our sins away? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Help us not to be ashamed of you, God. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are your dear children, and you are our heavenly Father, God. And without you, we could do nothing, Lord. We just thank you for all the blessings. We just thank you for loving us. And we just thank you for guarding us, God. Thank you for sending the angels in our lives to protect us from the hands of the enemy. And we just want to say thank you. And I just want to wish all of you a, a very happy new year. We're going to power up our prayer life and we're going to stay before the Lord. We're going to pray until something happens. We're going to push until something happens. Hallelujah. There's power in prayer. There's power in the word of God. Anytime you feel like you're being defeated or cast down or pushed down or you feel low in your spirit, turn to the word of God. Turn to God. Talk to Jesus. It's like I'm talking to you. His eyes is never shut. His ears is never dull. Glory to God. He hear our prayers. Glory to God. And he is the answer. Be encouraged until the next time. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to come on as God direct me to come on. Glory be to God. He is the director of my life. He's the director of my soul. And I love you and be encouraged. Look to the hills from which cometh your help. All of your help comes from the Lord. People don't want to hear about Jesus anymore, but I tell you what, we're in the last days. Hallelujah. We're in the last days. And God's going to turn things around. He's going to show his judgment. Glory be to God. He's going to unveil and reveal. Hallelujah. He's going to hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to pull back the cover. He's going to show his judgment. Judgment starts at the house of God. And this is the time of judgment. Glory be to God. Be ready when he call your name. People are leaving this world, honey. People are leaving by the strolls. Glory be to God. And, and unfortunately, a lot of them are lost. Glory be to God. But we don't have to be lost. We're still here. And God has given us a chance to get it right with, him, with, with the Lord. Repent of your sins. Ask God to forgive you for your sins and transgressions and iniquities. And he will do just that for you. Be encouraged you next time. This is your sister, Minister Lorraine Watkins. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.